Whew. Hey guys, uh, Anthony Colova here, and um, it was uh, requested by El Jorge22 um, on uh, my YouTube, my old YouTube channel, to uh, make a short video explaining what I did to prepare for my uh, the, the 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 bodybuilding show that some of you have seen the video of. Um, I'd like to say it was pretty simple, um, but it, it was actually decently complicated, which is why I hired. A, uh, a contest prep coach to, to walk me through it. About six months out from the show is when I decided that I was I was going to do the show. I committed about six months away. Uh, so at that that next morning, um, I started cleaning up my diet. Um, I added uh, 20 minutes of cardio after my workouts and stopped eating uh, gluttonous food. Just you know, fast food. I don't really eat all that much anyways, but. Kind of cleaned it up, uh, watched what I ate a little bit more, paid a little bit more attention, uh, spaced my meals out a little bit more. Uh, just, to, you know, if I space my meals out, I, I tend to stay fuller longer and I want to cheat less. I, I don't really buy into the whole uh, eat every two or three hours and it cranks up your metabolism thing. I mean, there might be some truth to it. I've, I've never really noticed that. But what I do notice is that when I eat every three hours or so, I, I tend to stay full and I don't get super hungry. When I get super hungry, I want to just go out and kill whatever I could find, and that's usually when I stray away from, from my diet plan. So I eat every couple hours. That's what I started doing six months out. Um, about 17 weeks out, 17 or 18 weeks out, I hired a, a contest prep coach, and he basically told me everything to do. I had to take a, um, pictures of myself. My girlfriend took photos of me every week, every Saturday, um, in the various you know, mandatory poses, and um, I would I would send those to him, and he would he would check me out, and he would say, okay, well, this is how we're going to change your diet, and uh, every week, my, well, I would do it every week, and, and sometimes my diet would change. Towards the end, the last three months, my diet seemed to change every week. Drop five carbs here, drop ten carbs there, increase the cardio here, do this, do that. Um, so it was kind of a gradual, gradual change over the course of six months. It wasn't just hit the ground running. It's like, just blew a bubble. Do you see that? I wonder if that got on film. Um, it, it, it wasn't really a, you know, major impact of a change all at once. It was just, you know, gradually, slowly, you know, adding, uh, you know, doing one session of cardio in the morning, another session of cardio in the evening, adding 10 minutes here, adding 10 minutes there. Uh, whatever whatever he had me do, I would do. Um, my, my workouts, they stayed pretty consistent the whole way through. Um, I work out with a trainer here in Anthem. His name's Chad, and he uh, he put me through um, a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of compound exercises, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of drop sets, a lot of supersets, a lot of force reps. Uh, we focus on a lot of negatives. Um, the The idea there is keep the weight as heavy as possible. So um, and as as heavy as I can possibly lift safely within the anywhere between 6 to 10 rep range. Uh, we would do a lot of um, incline bench to help develop my upper chest since that's always been lacking. Um, a lot of deadlifts, a lot of um, a lot of squats, front squats. My, my legs have... I didn't start doing squats until last year and because um, I have a bad back, but now that my back is, is kind of stronger, we we're able to focus on that. Start building up those legs. So uh, next show is going to be in about a year and a half, about 18 or 19 months out now. So um, and I think in that time, in the next 14 months, I could, you know, I can uh, make do some serious damage on my legs as long as I keep uh, keep eating right. I've hired this nutritional coach again to work with me in the off season so that I, uh, you know, I don't get too fat. The last time I came down from 20, I think it was like t almost 23 percent body fat, and I got down to about seven. I really needed to be closer to three or four. To, to be competitive, um, and I needed to have another 20 pounds of muscle on me to be competitive, but um, that's what we're going to be focusing on in the off season. The um, the coach that I hired really knows his stuff. He's a great guy. He's done this with you know hundreds, if not thousands, of competitors. So I trust him, and I'm just going to do whatever he says. Um, I weigh every single thing I eat. Um, I don't stick it in my mouth unless it's supposed to you know, contribute to uh, adding muscle or recovery. Um, you know, what I was doing before, I wouldn't put anything in my mouth unless it was uh, specific to, you know, burning fat, creating a caloric deficit while helping to preserve the muscle. So the diet was, um, back then when I was in contest prep, was uh, uh, 225 grams of protein, 
about 200 grams of carbs and about what was it? I think I was around 35 grams of fat. Now the carbs changed quite often and we did towards the end a lot of carb cycling. So at the beginning of the week my carbs would be like 250 grams and that'd be a killer day. I'd love it. And then that's like Monday. And then Tuesday I'd be at like uh, 200 grams and then 150, 100, 50. And that day, I mean, that day was ridiculous. I hated that. I hated the last th two or three days of the week because I still had to do an hour of cardio in the morning, an hour of cardio at night, and I still had a 90-minute heavy resistance weight training in the middle of the day. Um, I'm fortunate enough that I don't have a job that I was able to uh, semi-retire early and focus on training. So um, it is a lot easier for me than it is for a lot of people because I didn't have some of the, you know, shit to worry about, uh, the job and, and whatever else, and everybody was very supportive of me, so I, I had it, you know, easier than a lot of a lot of competitors do, um, I just didn't time it right, I, I started way too late, I <laughs> probably needed like eight months to get stage ready, but, um, you know, now, now that I'm doing it again, I'm not going to let myself get past 15%, and with the help of this contest prep coach, we're going to, we're going to kill it together, um, but yeah, towards the end of the week, I'd be at 50 grams of carbs, and, and usually he would bounce up my fat and my protein, so my, my calories would always be between 18 and 2,000, somewhere in that range. But towards the end, as we got closer, like a month out, we didn't bump fat and, and, and protein up nearly as much as we were previously. So as carbs went down, calories went down. So at the beginning of the week, I'd be at like you know 2,100 calories, 2,200 calories or whatever. At the end of the week, I'd be at like 24, 20, or 14 or 1,500 calories, still cranking out all that cardio and all that nonsense. Um, as far as working out goes, I did it five days a week. I did 90 minutes during the day. I tried to bust my calves every other day because they just don't seem to want to show up. And, uh, like I said, a lot of heavy resistance training, a lot of Olympic lifts. Not a lot, no, not, I take that back because the Olympic, you know, incline bench is not an Olympic lift. Uh, deadlifts, uh, squats, and, and that's about it. Um, when I went to Tennessee, we did some more Olympic style stuff, and we did a little bit, bit of plyometrics, some CrossFit training, and a um, few things like that. But for the most part, keep it heavy um, to preserve the muscle uh, while I'm in a caloric deficit. F feed the muscles at the right time, the right amount of nutrients, the right, around the right amount of carbs, and keep that carb cycling going. Had the refeeds to help restore my lipid levels, and um, you know, took a lot of supplements. That was pretty much it. So, I guess if you have any other questions, you can ask, but that's what I did. Uh, I'm probably going to do something very similar when it comes to this next show, only, you know, again, I'm not going to be at 15% body fat. I'm going to hopefully be, or not at 22, I'll be at 15, so I won't have to diet for six months, or if I do diet for six months, I can take my time and hopefully come in peeled for the show. And my goal is to put another 10 or 12 pounds of muscle on in the next 14, 15 months. Which is kind of a lot to ask for somebody my size. I'm more of a, I've got like a swimmer's body or, you know, more like an underwear model than a freaking bodybuilder. But it's what I want to do. So I'm going to keep at it and I'm going to stay strong and I'm going to stay focused. So, um, other quick updates. Moving to Chicago in about four months. Going to Mexico for Christmas in another three weeks, four weeks. Um, starting a supplement company, Big Picture Nutrition. You can see it right now at broscience.com. That's just a dead form that I post up my ideas at. But BigPictureNutrition.com is where the uh, the new supplement company is going to be. And i got a lot of exciting things planned. So um, stay tuned, guys. And uh, thanks for requesting this video. If you have any other requests, let me know. I know it's kind of boring. I'm just chilling in my backyard right now. You can see, you know, there's my backyard. There's my awesome grill. A fire pit. My dog. Hey, baby, come here. Come here, Mama. That's good. Oh, what? You don't like being on film? Take a seat. All right. So, anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for paying attention. And uh, request some more videos, and I'll, I'll put them up.